a Navi Envious matchup here to decide who's going home and who will be going on to play in the final best of three of the day. My name is Stunna. I'm here at the Intel Esports Arena in Burbank, California, as we lasso down some of these Group A match, match, matches for you guys. Good Lord Almighty. With that being said, uh, guys, we're going into Cobble. And, I mean, it, is it going to be a banger or we got not so much a banger? Uh, I think this map is set up for 25 round plus banger. And I think it's going to go in the form of Envious. So I think we're going to see a three map series. I'm actually going to disagree with Marcus. Um, I see Navi starting CT side. And we'll see, though. If Envy can establish a default, if they could take the map like they need to, which in my opinion is they don't need to mess with Hall early. You don't know what Simple's going to be doing. Let him do stuff. Let him run out of his utility, waste his nades maybe early. Pressure B, draw their nades out of B, and then maybe hit some late A's. If Envy goes into their very direct style, though, and just four here, four there, and then they mm -hmm. don't really teeter-totter throughout T-half, I could see 11-plus rounds for Navi. And if that does happen, yeah, I'm, I'm going with the 2-0 for Navi. I mean, even looking at Envious, let's kind of break this one down a little further on each side right here. We'll start with Envious. Let's kind of uh, divulge into sort of Happy's leadership style and, and what we could probably expect going in a cobble. Well, I've never been led by him, so I can't speak much on that. So, segment's over. Outstanding. All right. Well, we'll see you guys next <laughs> time, and I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Uh, no. Um, I don't know. Do you have any thoughts on that? Because for I me, I s he seems like a he seems like a very pragmatic guy. He actually seems very. If you ever talk to him, he's very honest. And these guys are better than us. I respect this, that, the other. What do you think about his calling as of late? I think he's good at adapting quickly. If uh, the reason that they're losing is because they're being outplayed. I think the downfall is the, the adapting to when his team's making the mistakes, right? So I think that that subtle difference. They get very stubborn when that happens. Yeah, exactly. Versus, yeah. And I don't know, is that a cultural thing, right? We've heard of the French scene sometimes. Some of the problems on a more exterior roster level is the elephant in the room. Um, they don't, there's some player personality problems and they don't always address them. Is that a problem on a more macro scale? Micro I don't think scale? that's only the French scene, right? Right. No, a lot of teams. <laughs> I'm just. This is something you hear a lot about the French shuffle. Well, it's probably part of the NA scene as yeah. well. It, it tends to happen. I mean, within more teams than just that. I mean, even the next. I mean, when we're talking about uh, Navi here, uh, the defending champions of ESL One New York. Didn't win it last year with Zeus. We do know that there's been th a change there where Zeus is brought into fold, leaves, come back, he comes back now. Uh, and I guess even a leadership style is that. What do we know about Zeus within Nami? Uh, I mean, obviously he got kicked, so I didn't like him before, but as soon as somebody wins a major trophy, right, like your, their, your level of credibility skyrockets, right? So if, if the guys are gonna give him any kind of flack when he comes back and he's like, hey, how many trophies do you have? Yeah, well, I have one, so uh, let's let's go. <laughs> Listen to me. So yeah. Check me out. Look at my profile. Yeah, right. Like, I mean, at the end of the day, that that speaks louder than anything any of those guys can say who are accepting him back into the roster. Yeah. Um, my comments would be, you see, the roots of Zeus came from Starix. That was when Navi was most successful. So, in my mind, if Zeus is doing it right, he's bringing back that really strategic structure that that they had under Starix. But having that one piece, his name's Simple, let him kind of roam and try to give him a little bit of, hey, this is this is this is the limit. Let's work around that. But at the same time, let him run wild. And, and I think, like I said, they could be a top three team again. And uh, uh, Simple with confidence is, is a scary thing indeed. But yep. only time will tell if that is going to be the case here on Cobblestone. We're going to be throwing it over to the commentators right now. Blue and Launders. Catch it. Take it, guys. Wait, can you catch this? <laughs> oh, both of you? Oh, you got first. Got wow, the most <laughs> athletic of all. I knew it. Just a little bit slow there. Anyway, it is time to jump into our second map here now. It's going to be heading over to Cobblestone now. And with all of the op presence that we saw, specifically from Navi in that last map, mm -hmm. Cobble should be a fun map for Navi yeah. to a certain degree, right? Yeah, definitely. Like, if Simple and Seized are split up, they both have opportunities as oppers on CT side to have great impact. So you usually have an opera playing solo A and then also uh, one on the B site somewhere. Like we, they could play a statue, they could play long B or even chicken coop. There's a lot of options there for ops on both sides of the map and uh, for teams that can have two very, very, very confident oppers. So yeah, just as you mentioned, very, I think uh, promising, I think for Navi here on Cobble. A map though, I'm, I'm really curious to see how Envy play because I've definitely spent some time thinking about how they are ad adapting their style of this map. Zeus crack spotting there, <laughs> that knife out to make sure he's as fast as possible. Now it's gonna recede back into the A site after getting way too much information. That's, that's a quick <laughs> fallback right there. I'm amazed he survived that to be honest. But he just makes it outside, doesn't take any damage at all from the exchange there. And now Envious, despite being spotted, are gonna push back in. Zeus. 
having to fall back pretty quickly as well. Trying to wrap himself around the corner, but doesn't end up getting much done. But Javino's envious as they all end up being stuck in just suicide steps area. Navi have caught on to this. They've got two additional players in the site now. They're kind of hesitant to keep them there, obviously, since Envious hasn't really shown their face since that long push. They still have them in the area if they're needed. Specifically, Simple watching lower now, and Zeus just up on top of the shed. Paying attention for anybody that's going to push out from long itself. Envious very much like the pistol that they played on T-side in the last map, too. Very slow, very quiet up until they really need to start moving in, and this is exactly the time to do it. Just below the 50 second mark, they're gonna start pushing forward. XMS gets the first frag. Simple trying to look away here now, and now Rat back in. He's just trying to get any kills at all here, but it's all envious as nothing can be done by Navi. And now with Flamey in a 1v5, it's not looking likely that he would clutch, but let's see how much damage he can do anyway. As Happy's just gonna push back in. That might be the one kill that gets her free. There's the first, and then Happy promptly trades it out. Envious so far maintaining a flawless pistol record for this series. So when the CTs have a passive A setup with two USPs, they have about one to two seconds a piece to hit the headshots when they can. And then beyond that, it's you know gotta be supporting flashes. Like we see coming over the door, Simple realizes that he's going to get flanked around the truck after he's shot a few bullets and was able to unpeak. But at that point, has to just push out, try to get whatever kills he can, and hope that his teammate makes him or his teammate meets him halfway because there's no way he's going to win the round by himself from that position and it was all due to the fact that Envy, Envy got so much back control off of the initial execute. Now we move into round two. There is a buy up for, for Navi. They've got armor on everybody and CZ's across the board. Edward instead is going to be the rebel of the team using a deagle but they're set up in a, in a pretty defaulty manner um, as CT's not really stacking a site here instead of being aggressive at long. Envious, after some delay, are going to get ready to start pushing forward. Zeus might have his opportunity to frag out. Simple's going to take the bait first up. Oh no, Simple's actually going to get distracted because he has to deal with, uh, to deal with the suicide push against him. And Zeus gets one kill, just purely through the element of surprise primarily. He's going to be able to take down XMS, but that'll be it. Probably trades it out. However, you'll note the damage that was done. Both Scream and Sixer being brought down incredibly low. And Seized may have an opportunity to take advantage upon that and at the very least try to take down those two other players. But after that exchange at long, enemies don't feel super confident in their ability to push up to A anymore, so they do fall back into those B halls. And it looks like they'll make a switch over there, and that'll be the right switch too, as Flamey's gonna be found out, and all of a sudden the B site's wide open for the taking. Yeah, he kind of came back off that angle. I'm not sure if he would have got spotted anyway. They definitely wanted to clear it since they weren't at B already, which is just smart of them. The one D would have been critical. That would have been one player down, two on very low HP. Can't hit that because of the jump, and our other man seized is in a unfavorable position, but just kind of far away, so not really much room to capitalize. And I was definitely worried for Envy there, considering they had Mac 10s and they were such on such low HP. That's exactly what CZs want to see. So. Uh, very fortunate, I think, for them that not only it seems like they're going to win this round, get the bomb down and such, but also save four people. Yes, yeah, especially considering the HP that those guys are sitting at too. Scream and Sixer, it's, it's a miracle they managed to make it to the end of the round there. You can tell at the end the last man for Navi was prompting up to do some damage, but the unsuccessful in that. So Navi now go into this round and they won't be able to return that damage again. So Envy should be able to stack up some decent cash before they get into that first gun round. Single flash on Seized, or Simple and a stack towards A, are they simply going to run through? It's definitely going to be some kind of default here. But Zeus, the only one, I don't know if he was meant to bait, but yeah, everyone's just kind of lagging behind. Finally, a kill comes out at the very least. The gun they retrieve is only an SMG, but happy looking to just finish up here on this anti eco as he's known to do. Yep, finding one, and no seized is sitting outside somewhere. I can see the shadow too. A little bit of trouble with the CZ himself, down to 6 HP now, and will actually be beaten by seized. So one more player goes down, a little bit of damage being done. However, overextends his welcome in that stairwell. There, six is just going to take him down, and it'll be secure the 3 0 start. Fourth round, not enough money, it doesn't look like, to have ops. It doesn't seem like anybody actually is saved for those ops either. Now, normally you would have, and that's a good spray down right by, uh, by Scream, good money gain there. Normally you would see the oppers on the on the force up just decide not to get armor so they have a little bit more when it comes to the rifle round. So I think consciously realized that they weren't going to invest in an op. Another round, we're seeing so many rounds of this tournament where it's five CTs with no kit. Like there's no one prioritizing a kit. Someone could have given up a frag and, and probably had enough money if even had $100 remaining. So that's kind of surprising to me, but they're really 
just, I think, banking on big hitting their shots here. And Envious are going to roll out very quickly to the B-bomb site. Finally going for an execute over here. Flamey attempts to hold, but it's Seize that gets the first kill for his team. Edward and Simple move in very, very quickly to crush the remaining HP from Envious. And that went from an okay hit to a really bad one very quickly as they lose four to five of their players in a matter of seconds. Now they won't have to talk about not having a kit here. They can just buy up all their utility as well. And the, the fast hit falls flat on its safe. So we talked about this in the first game, how if you start off the first rifle round, moving quickly, it can be demoralizing for the other team if you're able to win. Well, here is Navi able to steal back some of that momentum and, and feel pretty, probably pretty good that, you know, they're able to stop one of the most staple things that you can do on Cobble, and that's a, a fast, long B hit. Zeus is already in position two to stop this counter reaction, moving back in through mid connector. A great trade from Sixer, and now this is a problem for Zeus as he is to a certain degree stuck sitting inside of this ramp. That smoke should buy him the real estate he needs to fall back into a better position to continue fighting. That's exactly what he's going to do. Still a very active presence, however, since he's being supported by Seize and a few other players here as Edward watches out for long. But losing these two kills and only trading back on a simple at the moment is not helping the case for Envious as they're again just going to fall back from mid connector and form this into a pretty simple B hit. So they always know that Happy can be really close up. Flamey trying to look over, over top of the flames can actually spot him in time. This makes it a little bit more hectic. You should know the drop presence is there, judging from the sound, but Seize isn't there to support for his teammate. Thankfully goes two for one, at least trades it out better. Left the op, or left the bomb, excuse me, and Happy has to go retrieve it. Fortunately for him, Seize does have enough health to fight. Still an awkward position, but now he, because he's pushed out of the site, feels like maybe I could try to make this a 1v1. Ideally, he does that. Uh, doesn't look like he's anticipating long B presence and wants to just put this bomb down so he can start the 1v2, but it might be a little too late. Yeah, Edward moves into the site towards Broken Wall just at the perfect time there and makes sure that that 1v1 that he was going to have to deal with goes very, very easily and doesn't put C's into a pressured situation either. Navi will win out this next round here, and after that, that should break Envious, putting them onto an eco for this upcoming round. I think in terms of game philosophy, we know that like Happy oh, does what he does because even if you know what he's doing, it's always good to have, you don't need four people to take a site in the first place. If you can't take it with four, you're going to lose the round anyway. So for him to be having presence on the other side of the map, stopping rotators and stuff, it's like even if you know what he's doing, uh, you still have to kind of respect him and as a lead into into another hit, him being there early can be nice for catching people off guard if they bite on a fake too hard. And sometimes it's not even a fake, sometimes it's just an adjustment based on the fact that he has so much information. Nate's going in early, but Flamey can't see anything. He gets hit by like three flashes in a row. So he'll go down, he gets run over by the mob train from Envious here. And now Navi's trying to trade these kills back. A little bit messy, but they do hold on. And XMS at one HP, despite being that low, still gets one more kill against Seized. Simple just sitting back and patiently waiting for the cross, but XMS is not going to oblige him so quickly. He'll fall back to the top of the platform, exercising his options first before he commits to anything here. But the more time he wastes, the better position Navi are going to be in here. They will sit up on top, ready to take him on. You just need one more bullet to take him down, or a nade for that matter. They are going to go for that. XMS actually pretty smart to dodge that. But then Simple finally takes him down. Yeah, pretty simple play at that point. There's a, a full B hit once again from Envy. The flashes were actually really good. You saw Flamey at the broken wall completely blind. Had no chance to win there. And that 5v4 can be the backbreaker, but it was a great recovery on the rotators in. Our man at E-Box getting two kills. I think that was actually, that might have been simple. And then uh, finding a good position to play the 2v1 from just, you know, two for two perfection, really. 3-3 three to three for Navi. They move into this round versus another buy-up. Um, Envy somehow supplementing all of these uh, forces and, and straight up full buys. They've got tons of money. So maybe it was like a half buy last round. It was, yeah. Yeah, so uh, basically a default here with the ops. They don't have to move very much when they have like a utility advantage. They have an op to work with and they know that Envy don't have that kind of um, that money. Um, and off the Olaf smoke, Edward actually getting quite a bit of information. It's not actually going to stir any rotates because it isn't a tell. But it's not a bad nade from Zeus. Simple won't be able to delay forever, but he still has his smoke. And Simple getting ready to take this fight now, but the flashbang just destroys his vision. He's going to deal with suicide sense pressure, but he knows that quickly goes and gets the scope, tries to recover in time for a no scope against XMS, but just not given that time. So he will trade it out one for one, bringing this into another even battle. Oh, they're getting aggressive again. They're up towards the platform. You can see Flamey pushing up the steps a little bit, looking for intel on his own. He's not going to find anything, though, as enemies are going for a drop split this time. Starts off a little bit shaky with having to take down Simple, but they do take him down and 
Obviously, he only spots them taking control of Long. Doesn't see them going outside just yet. Seized, however, is able to see one of the two players to go in and take drop control. That'll be RPK going down. They'll still have to deal with Happy in that route, but at least they know it's happening now. But Happy, he'll trade it back out. That drives the wedge now. Flavie's got to look for him on the rotate. But we can see Zeus going in, getting a one-for-one -one trade. Pressure onto Edward now, but just through the paneling, is able to see XMS to take him down. Now Happy comes in as the last man standing. He does have this flank. Edward should know it's going to be here, though, but he might not know that he's that close up. So he gets the kill, opens up the bomb site here. Happy just has to go back. He loses the bomb. He's actually wasting quite a few crucial seconds here. It's a good thing that Flamey decides not to peek out and challenge it until he plants the bomb. And now he'll fall back into just the default corner, looking to see if he can lock down his opponent and win the round for Envy so they can keep this lead going. But that smoke has given Flamey a whole lot of free room to go up to the platform. It's gone now. They're going to go to the backside here. Forces Happy into the open. He's not going to be able to win the 1v1. Flamey takes it. And as such, Navi will take the round, putting them into the lead here. Have the firebomb flying over your head can be enough to make the fight way too awkward for you to feel comfortable taking it. So Flamey did a really good job there. And obviously finding a kit extremely important. Or there might have been one on the side. I'm not sure what he was looking for. Or the op it was. He was getting the op. Yeah, yeah. So everyone gets a kill piece for Navi, which is cool. And uh, the small, small cool thing that, or small bad thing actually that Navi did was they left simple to fight it long. And he had a smoke, which he didn't actually use because he didn't really have time to. He could have let go of it early on. I think they would have still pushed through to try to crush him. But he didn't have support, and even though, and even though he was pushed up with an op. So it would have been a lot better if, if Zeus was in a position where he could um, either like Molotov in front of the smoke, which he did have at long when they tried to crush the simple, uh, or push through it, or be on the other side of it. Instead, he was kind of by himself and just hoped that simple could go off. But there's almost no point in that when you can keep both of your teammates alive. I'll be trying to get aggressive early on. You can see the flash that actually hit uh, both of the both of the tees that were outside in the courtyard here. Unfortunately, none of them were just in the angle for Simple to hit any of the shots. So they'll quickly fall back and completely give up their A-long pressure since they've been challenged too evenly here in almost every single round so far. It's really just not worth it to have one solo player sitting outside because it's almost a guarantee it's going to get traded. And with them seeming to prioritize Simple in that position, losing the op that often is not going to be worth it in the long run of things. So instead, we'll play to the site this round and just have to go off of their initial intel once they see players actually pushing in. So still only two set up to defend. They do have Seize quickly available to rotate over. You'll note the low utility for Navi here too. Only a couple smokes remaining, and I think the next couple of these might just end up getting used up to re-smoke some angles. You can see one getting tossed to A-long there. Another still down in mid-connector, but that's going to go away. And the smoke from Simple basically does nothing since it bounces off the wall at the last second and goes into the corner. Oh, Simple in a kind of a weird spot now. Might be safe to watch lower A, but can only use this position so much. He's getting pushed on. Thankfully, Zeus comes in, bails him out a little bit here. Now we can re-peek at the second. I'm amazed this is working as well for Navi right now. No trades from Envious. They're going to counter boost up on top, and they actually find Zeus trying to throw out an aid. Finally, he's gone, but Flamey quickly trades, and Edward inside of the crawl space gets the kill. Sixer oh. with two, <gasps> now three, and all of a sudden we're into a 1v1. I don't know if he's realized where Seize is moving in from yet, though. He's going to come in on the flank. Sixer's stuck in this corner. Seize currently does not have a kit or any utility to defuse this bomb with. But as Seize moves forward, Sixer sits back, patiently waits, giving him as little of an angle as possible, just reducing it down to a headshot. He's going to run right up, and Seize will take him down. And I believe we'll have enough time to do the full defuse with 10 seconds there Damn. and give Navi another round. It was so close. Damn, the headhunter. Three quick headshots. You definitely want to watch that back. But yeah, Seize played it really well. Typically, people come up onto the site and walk around it, and that gives you some options. And Seize tried to go play one step ahead and go around the other side, and, and that was definitely the correct play there. So. Uh, there it is, one kill. Oh, oh with the spray, spray too. Wow, that was beast. That was beast, man. Young Christopher. <laughs> what a round. Good damage, too. I mean, we're, we're at Navi are extremely low across the board. Um, and Envy still have a ton of money in the bank. So even though Navi just won that round, they could just get, they could actually just get reset here. So a pretty big win. Uh, we move into another setup. There's four people at B. The long B hasn't been that good. Initial kill comes out. Bomb is spotted. And that's it, cards on the table. There should be a sign to them though, because Simple's almost always over at A, so the fact that he's here on B to get the first kill should alert them to the fact that there's going to be more people here on this site. Hopefully they're ready for it. Look at Simple! Oh, so God. dirty right up inside, gets the no-scope. Flamey oh. finds a second kill, but actually, Flamey... Oh, what? Six <laughs> Sixer dude. again! Another triple kill from him, and it's up on top of an elevated platform too. All of a sudden, this gets turned into an even fight. Sixer looking for his fourth, he's not going to get it though. Seize denies it, and the pot flash into the air. Blinds Happy temporarily, sends him back to the steps. He's still looking for the headshots himself. 
Although I doubt he's going to find as much effective as a Sixer. We'll see, though. As we do see the CTs pushing forward, but yeah, Happy misses the Q from C's going up to the half wall there. And that'll be Navi closing out another round. He leads six to three. Yeah, another round where the basically the only reason that it's close and all of the kills that are had are because of Sixer. Like, what an insane couple of rounds here. Six kills in total. But <laughs> it's like a simple getting away with that kill after getting caught out with a Molly behind him on top of the box. No scope, of course. And uh, oh, even after that, somehow Envy don't have that much money. So three pistols. Navi. Whoa, why does Ever only have a 5.7? That should show his biggest gun, shouldn't it? it what should a hit. Oh my god. <laughs> Simple just going for full control now as he pushes in. They've got Flamey ready to fight too. I mean, at this rate, Edward doesn't even need a gun because he can just pick up someone else's here with all the corpses that he's going to find on the B bomb site. Controlling it quickly, bringing this down to a 4v2. Navi prioritizing on stopping the plant. It seems like the 5.7 was going to be the weapon of choice as Edward still does work with it, gets a kill. RPK finding two before he goes down. That will indeed be the end of it as Navi once again close out 7-3 to three here. And a pause will come in, assumably from Envious. See, in a game like this where everyone knows how to make the best decision possible, Simple will will do something that seems like ridiculous. It's, it's a safe pick if you hit the shot. If you miss the shot, you could lose the round for your team. The shot isn't necessarily hard, but the pressure is there because you're doing something unorthodox. And that's what helps catch teams off guard in the first place. And that's what makes a good offer good is when they're willing to do that for their team. And that's really why, that's what, that's like a huge reason why Simple is so much better than other offers, because they all hit shots, but he's willing to put himself in situations that he's going to hit shots that any good offer could hit, but it's so risky that if there is a 10% chance that he missed or cracks under pressure, they lose the entire round. Yeah, I mean, just just think if he misses that shot already, right? kind of looks like, he, it kind of looks like he's just throwing his life away. And that's, he looks that's like an idiot. It. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. But he's not an idiot for doing it, necessarily. That that he wasn't peeking so wide that he was exposed to too many people. It was mostly just that once he makes that noise and that guy's looking at him in the face, he's going to be able to kill him crossing back. But sometimes that's what you have to do because everyone's going to be trying not to get opped all the time, right? That's that's what you're going to try to avoid as a T. And that's what makes people scared of you. That's what Kenny S does as well. The best part is he's been playing all over the map too. I mentioned this before about how he's, he's in these last couple of rounds switched it up to playing more towards B. But prior to this, he was playing a lot over towards A. Trust me, like not when you play against someone like this, you just feel like it, it's just Simple's poltergeist everywhere. <laughs> like, you know, when somebody takes a shot at five different choke points and they always get kills, it just feels like they're everywhere all the time. Well, that's going to be a little bit too aggressive from Edward as he does try to push into those B halls. One player will be waiting for him from the side of Navi, so they go down early this time. Envious will get the advantage, and it looks like they're going to take advantage upon it and push into those B-Halls and out onto the site after, obviously after a little bit of delay here. So they do need to form up and get ready to push, but look who's up at Broken Wall again. They're ready to take a fight if these guys should swing out. They should expect him to be here at this point, so they're going to want to be careful peeking it. On B to dodge the flash, but this time just clips the wall a little bit there. But quickly, the execute is going to move in. He tries to no-scope again. This time it'll be a miss. And quickly, we do see Envy is mopping up shop too. A couple trades here and there, but it's not really going to be enough to keep Navi in the game. Zeus, now alone in a 1v3, will attempt to clutch for his team. The Molly should force XMS out. Actually, it looks far. like it didn't spread, yeah. As he moves in, he's at the very least able to find Scream, do a little bit of damage, try to keep him hiding out. Flashes, Zeus remaining mobile at least, and watching for that smoke too to make sure there isn't a push against it, but obviously Zeus knows his options are limited, and eventually just decides, yeah, this isn't gonna happen, and actually goes back in, really wants the kill on XMS, finally does get it. What's he gonna do from here though? There's a little oh. chance he's, act he's actually gonna go for this. Moves in, goes for the AK pickup, no scream is up on top somewhere, realizes his mistake now, and tries to back out, but it's too late. He's stuck inside, and Sixer will take him down. The way he played it made it seem like he was going to save. It actually made Envy think that he was going to save him, which is kind of cool, but he took so long that it almost was okay that Envy pushed out, even if he wasn't going to, because he didn't have enough time to get both kills and defuse. So he probably should have just ran away with that gun after getting that first kill. Um, yeah, and... Uh, so Envy that in that round, instead they did a, a B execute. It was the, the two caveats were that it was delayed and they also had more focus on drop, so splitting. Uh, now typically the only reason you wouldn't split drop in the first place is because you want to have a fast rush and that means coming out long B and sometimes drop control. It doesn't make sense to just jump out in there, but if you wait long enough, drop control can be pretty safe because you can lay, lay mollies down on the floor, you can smoke out e-box or window and, and get down safely. That takes time, so that's the route they decided to go. Ended up being the better way to take B and you know, uh, I think that's a, a problem for Navi now. They realize that drop control is a threat. 
Now, they did decide to take their first tactical pauses despite winning, I think it was like four or five rounds in a row there. They are immediately broken as they do not have enough cash to buy into this round, so they're going to be put into a rough spot. But okay, it looks like they're forcing it. Edward going for the MP9. A few more as Flamey gets one too. Uh, yeah, this is a, this is because they smell blood. They realize that MV don't have or or have done a lot of damage to them economically, put them in a bad spot. But at the same time, because they're reset now, they could potentially put that back on Envy, kind of like the third round meta if the team split pistol on second. And uh, the problem is that they just have such a bad buy, it's hard to say if this is actually even viable considering the amount of utility that Envy have to work with. Um, smaller guns are viable in places like Drop. Um, broken Wall also, but the flashes from Envy have been really good, so I definitely, I think that the, the best chance for Envy here is to try to focus on A. Yeah, and out on the sites as well is going to be very hard for Navi in general just to fight with these, which is why you can tell they have such a heavy stack towards B. It's going to be their best bet is to stop it up on the platform before Envy is actually getting control over the site. Because if they do make their way in, a retake, that's a cool moment, but a retake is pretty much going to be impossible to pull off as Zeus sits back. He's going to get a little bit of support now as the additional rotates move in. They can definitely hear all those nades going on in the back of A long. So they know something's up here. And as they call for rotates, Flamey will get his first kill inside a drop. Oh, this would be such a bad round for Envy to lose. Seized will sit in the corner too and wait for players to peek out. And he has additional support from Edward in the event he gets traded. I'm going to close up with Seize. Okay. And Zeus both make their kills. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. And now Simple just finds a third one, kills the player that was trying to lurk into B. So this is all falling apart. All of a sudden, Sixer is dealing with a 1v5, not a single player killed. He obviously knows that some of these guys are probably going to be low, so he switches over to the pistol to play with that. Look who's going up against it's Zeus, who's still at full HP. He doesn't even expect them to be this far out either, so it's a free kill for Zeus. Navi not only win it, but they keep all five players alive, and they scavenge additional guns for free. So that's a massive round for Navi. That's crazy, man. They, they kept all those. That's just such a back-breaking round. Like this, If they had forced and Navi to reset, won that round on the force, they would have had two free rounds after that. It would have been tied up seven to seven. Um, and now they're in a situation where Navi are going to have like a pretty free road to 10 rounds. Um, unless Envy can kind of do what they did to them, but that's unlikely as well. And it's going to be a full B hit, long control, and this doesn't work that well for them. Full force or full rush, I should say, from Envy to get into the site. Edward actually taking his time getting his gun back out, really trying to make sure these smokes are set up. Oh, oh what? Oh. XMS gets a third one as well. And Scream with the fourth. It seems like they're going to do the same exact thing to them. Unless Simple can pull off a miracle here now. Trying to do work for the op, but XMS pushes oh. in. And it's another headshot to close it out as XMS takes full control of the map and Dude. dominates Navi. I mean. Uh, yeah, we need to watch these. So Edward goes down, 1D to the rock, another at the door, and a fourth just holding W. Oh man, that's nuts. That's, I mean, I'm happy for them because it was such a travesty that they lost the last round, and it probably would have just destroyed their half. So at least they steal it back, and they put Navi on a save too. So, just, I mean, just as it was critical for them to, to win that, and so unlikely. It just, just to even have like a close to a fair game, it was important that they won that, let alone you know, think about winning it. So, Navi end up in another force situation here. Seize, oh no, not again. Seize gets the first kills. <laughs> oh my god. I don't even know what to say. I mean, now I'm just like, at least Envy won around there in the middle <laughs> yeah, of it. I suppose. And now it's a 5v3 all of a sudden here. Oh, this is stupid. <laughs> RPK, Sixer, and XMS all going to go for it. They have so much utility, so they can still line up a very decent execute here, although I'm not sure how much of that they're actually going to use. Molly, not to the steps player. There's nobody in the cubbies. That second Molly's not going to do much. I'm surprised they don't try to nade into the corner here because that just opens up a window for Flamey and Seize to do a little bit. Oh, Ooh. great flick from Sixer there. He was a dead man if he didn't do that. So Sixer stays alive, just barely, though. 11 HP, the problem. Oh, okay. Ooh. Sixer back in it again. Okay. It's up to three now. Evening the fight out at the very least. Zeus still having the AK pickup though. He managed to scavenge that, but Sixer this time is expecting a flank. You can see him nading back out the flank position there. They did smoke it as well. So they have that covered back off. Zeus is instead just going to go down, drop, and head into the site. Sixer ready to frag out once more. Leaving his teammate in the open though. It doesn't matter. XMS picks up his first kill on the round. Taking down Zeus. Just Edward finally takes down Sixer, but he's still going to look for XMS, oh. but he gets it done anyway. Beautiful work from Navi as they upset again this time. Damn, Sixer had him too. He was catching him in movement. Like, he was like, all right, I'm going to take this fight early. He obviously was in a tough spot once Sixer missed that shot. 
And that's so awful because Sixer had such a good round that put him in this position in the first place. And then he also kind of had the best angle to take that kill and couldn't do it. So, oh, that's just, you know, capitalizing on a whiff and then just adjusting at the last moment, even though he XMS forced him to flick. And yeah, last round of the half, uh, it's tumultuous. Uh, it's been tumultuous. Uh, th there's a 10 round opportunity here for Navi. It wouldn't have been the prettiest 10 rounds considering how the last few rounds have went, but they've also come with the victory even in this like economic battle that we've seen in the last few rounds. Yeah, I mean, even the buy they have right now isn't that great. Still a few, like, if you, still a few SMGs in the buy there. As you can see, Flaming Zeus having to go down to them. Envious in the meanwhile, it does get all five rifles. RPK having to make the only sacrifice down to a Galil. And they have full utility too, so Envious have the advantage despite losing the last round here. We just have to see and make sure that they don't mess it up again. This has been the pattern for both teams in these last like three or four rounds now. Happy strikes first, but Flamey will be there for a trade up on platform. Takes him down, and Happy almost dies to a Molly as well. He's burned down to 28 HP. Happy after taking down Flamey, though we haven't seen much from him. And Envious are just going to roll right through A long. Does Zeus even realize it? He's checking it now, so he's going to see what's happening. He's going to have to hide himself, though. As if not, Scream will walk right up. Taking him down easily and now leaving only two left alive here for Navi. One is going to waste no time going into the site and impacts too. Fine scream takes him down. Oh, does he hear happy though is the question. Might have made noise the last moment. Oh, great. Wow, that was a great opportunity. Not even sure how that did a connect. Edward did kill happy, but now he's alone in a 1v2 obviously after losing the opera from up in heaven. Just making sure that nobody pushed in there. And checking out the rest of the site. Still going to be a very tough clutch, and yet won't happen. Sixer will shut it down, and Envious do find a sixth round. Stick with us, guys, and we'll find out if this match continues to be as close as it is now, right after the break. ESL One New York is brought to you in part by Intel. Logitech G, Republic of Gamers, GoDaddy, and StubHub. Again, folks here, Navi versus Team Envy is well on its way here as we are in the middle of the second map on Cobblestone. For those that missed the first map, we did indeed see Navi taking control of that one with the final score of 16 to 11. And Navi once again have control after the first half, a 9 to 6 scoreline after some crazy back and forth rounds where for whatever reason, people kept forcing and people kept winning those forces to end the first half. You kind of had that battle that you typically see at the beginning of a half happen just somewhere in the middle for almost no reason. It was hard to even put it in terms of analysis, put it to like any one misstep tactically, but great shots being hit and we're onto a fast pistol round from Navi as they aggress onto A. Navi, you're going to continue that forward too, checking out suicide steps here. Sixer and Scream. Scream's able to find a shot. Seize is trying to stay alive there. Not going to happen. And it looks like at the moment, Envious's pistol round record is going to stay flawless. Unless we can see a quick turnaround from Zeus and Simple. Simple first up to bat, quickly headshots RPK into the oh. site, quickly follows it up with another one on the next MS as well here. And is going to even move up to the doorway, trying to see if he can get a flight kill against these players. If they push into the site without realizing it, they have to suspect something from this corner though. In the meantime, though, Zeus is going to use this opportunity to push forward himself, get the plan out of the ground. Simple buying himself even more real estate with that smoke coming out from Zeus. And now they'll start to push it from the drop room instead. They do suspect Simple, but it doesn't matter. Get the third and the fourth. Is this going to be ace? And there it is from. 
from Simple. Massive work. Finally breaks the flawless record from Envious on pistols and propels Navi into the lead once again. I'm absolutely perplexed. I have no idea how he does this. He obviously dodges a couple of bullets like Neo. Headshot and another. Dude. Two entries after all of his teammates die at A is like, I'm going to at least try to go B, see what I can get done, maybe help escort the bomb towards me, gets that kill, turns it into another clean headshot, and all these bodies soulless in the B site after he's done with it. Zeus, meanwhile, just chilling on the other side of the site, doesn't have to do anything. Just plants the bomb. <laughs> and now XMS. Trying to go deagle hunting here, but Simple already claiming a few victims. He only gets one, though. Scream is able to trade it with his own deagle here, and C's just lurking in. Got to be a little bit careful against that deagle, but finds a nice headshot there. And, oh, RPK, the long-range CZ shot, responds to it. Brings it down to a 3v3 now. He had technically just got out Long B, their team not where to be found, and two kills down means that I mean, this is, it's not like even footing, but it's definitely dangerous territory for Na'Vi after his Stealing back that pistol round. Um, again, we, it, it looked like it was going to be a flawless 4-0 start for Envy, but uh, at this point, they still have the opportunity to make up for that here in round 17. So quiet, you can hear the birds as the footsteps are moving towards B slowly. 40 seconds remain. Lots of time to get away with this, and it would really take a gamble stack because Navi have the time to make this play without giving away any information to go back to B. And Edward's going to be creeping up first up here. RPK sits back a little bit more into the site. Uh, I believe Envious was gambling on this, rotating over to the other side a little bit, and that's going to be problematic because now they have to try and scramble to get a little bit more control, scream, headhunting again. But not going to find anything, so he picks up the ump instead, tries to run it up quickly, gets that kill. Did some great damage to Edward too, but now he's going to wait for his teammate to move before he does anything else. He's low. Like he tags Edward one more time before going down, but it's only for like 20 damage. So he's still sitting at 33. Happy trying to pick off the rest of that, but can't get it done. And Flamey will end it for Navi. 11 to 6 becomes the scoreline. It's very important to conceal footsteps whenever possible. Envy would have moved off of any information possible, and Navi going back to be in the 3v3 made it very difficult for Envy to read. So good call overall, and that's you know that's just good. Uh, a good read probably by Zeus, even though it was kind of blind because ultimately you can you can pick a site but when you don't have that much information, you have no one to scout. It's the other team is just going to be doing the exact same thing and you've got to get in their head somehow. So B made a lot of sense. Scream would be that sitting in that molly. He knows where it was thrown from, so he saw an opportunity. Roasted himself a little bit, but now he's going to have to look for opportunities from suicide. At least he baits a little bit there for the Sixer can go in and get the kill. And actually, Scream gets it anyway, so who am I, what am I saying? Flamey and Seize, though, trade those kills right back. And it is just Sixer left alive now at the edge of A long. They know where he's at already, too. Tries to fake flash it, or tries to flash his way out a little bit. But Seize is going to say no to that. Takes him down. Another clean round from Nobby as they prep themselves up for the first gun round. First gun round, six round deficit for Envy. And Nobby are holding on to what looks like two Mac 10s. I assume they upgrade at least one of these, or I would at least hope. Nope, they're going to they're gonna keep them. They've got so much money. They feel, they know that Envy also had done the, the force up in response, so they aren't going to necessarily all have head armor, and they'd be correct about that. XMS and RPK don't, and uh, are very abusable because of this. That movement speed you get with the MAC-10 is something that people don't really talk about as well, so it's like, it's it's not as strong as a rifle, but some of the other benefits are uh, are kind of auxiliary in the sense that like you're, um, having fast movement speed makes you harder to hit, also allows you to fly down drop even better than a rifle could. And a sixer after spawning, so the smoke and fall off. RPK gets that initial kill, so that's a Mac 10 down, threat neutralized. Scream as well, leaping into the smoke, gets right past Zeus without him realizing it. So we'll pick up for Envious, and now Sixer. Oh, oh that flick on the Flamey, nicely done from Sixer. Edward is going to try to wrap around, but what hope does he have now? All of a sudden, this has become a one v five, not being given much of an opportunity to do much here. Oh my God! Oh, five. Five kills. Now, for Navi, it's it's actually not that big a deal. I think the, the worst part is that they they lose the round and losing all their people, but didn't invest past the Mac 10s at least. And that's that such a dope spray transfer. Hell yeah, Sixer. That's the second one of this game. That's super nice. Now they close that they, they close that deficit a little bit. They've shown they can win a rifle round. Technically, Navi are going to be harder to beat this round than they were last. However, and uh, Envy uh, can kind of do what they do and 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 see what. Navi's play is as opposed to the other way around because there isn't a lot of leeway on TT side to make too many moves.
And Nabi pushing forward here. Sixer waiting around the corner. Molly goes onto the ground for him, but Edward walks right past that, destroys Sixer this time. And that opens up a long Sixer, or excuse me, Edward only losing about a third of his HP in that fight. Yeah, when the, when the Molly first hits the ground, it doesn't do like that 70 damage you get from running away with it. It has to really spread, so opportunity there. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay, second one for Scream here now. He's gonna look for the third. Messes up on the spray though, and that's where Seize is gonna be able to take him down. Zeus will follow it up with one more in his own regard, but Happy pinching in for one headshot himself, tries to go for more, but he overpeaks just a little bit. And now it's XMS alone in the 1v2. So Happy kind of mess that up, go for that extra kill. Yeah. Could have been a 2v2, his teammate could have helped him out. And Plant's not gonna come out actually. Flamey's gonna make sure that he can't get this kill right now. Seize just has to sit and wait. It's really up to XMS now. It looks like he's just gonna wrap out through door, hope it's open. It is immediately, but when he goes past up here, he is gonna find Seized waiting for him, and that'll be the instant headshot to close out the round. Those are the best angles. Those are the best angles. The angle is that you catch someone clearing something else, and that's like, it has to do with visualization. If you put yourself in their shoes and you walk out in that situation, what are you trying to clear? And sometimes you can catch someone off of that. So that's that's something really good that demo watching helps with in particular. Um, now we move into round 21. Envious on a save once again. Tough place to be in. They won that pistol round so cleanly. Had tons of money, but even with that, don't have enough to put together a buy. So we'll have to eat this L. It seems like, well, maybe not, <laughs> as they haven't been on these eco rounds, though. Here's a good recovery from Navi. A little bit shaky there as Envious do try to be a little bit sneaky with their strat this time. Well, not necessarily sneaky, but very straightforward, actually, as they just rush out against the Navi stack, hoping to get a few kills. And they succeed in that, taking down both Zeus and Edward. But ultimately, Navi's still in control. Happy just repositioning, hoping to get lucky and find the bomb cure, and he might actually accomplish that. But I think Simple is holding here, waiting for the rest of his teammates to clear things out instead of diving headfirst into the site where Happy could just take him down on an off angle. And in fact, Simple, if he stays here for... Oh, no, he looked away. So Happy is going to be given the chance to sneak in around the corner. It's timing city. Yeah, <laughs> and try to find a player and drop. I think he's missed his chance, though, and not only that, but he's heading the complete wrong direction currently. So he will just lurk his way right back out onto the platform here, and we'll see. Ah, Simple's gonna check him in a second, and there's no reason why Simple shouldn't win that fight, even if the flash, if he really needed it there. So they close out Navi, just two rounds away now for winning the series, and pushing them into their matchup versus Cloud9 to go into the Barclays Arena. Hmm, that's a big deal. That's a dope flash, too right in front of the box, and even though he was peeking the entire time, wouldn't have been blind. Anyone at Long B would have been blind. It's a quality flash. Tremendous flash. Superb. Nobody likes that flash more than me. <laughs> well, Sixer goes out. Oh, okay. Seemed like he had an easy shot there against Simple, but apparently it's a miss. I moved or something like that just before he took it, so it makes it inaccurate. Causes the miss to happen, and Simple, with a nice little smoke toss, bounces a few times, gets itself to block off the exit to Long A. So a bit of clearance for Navi to push in there again and take early control if they want to do it. However, Envious, I think, is going to boost up on top to spot it. And assuming they are able to get good vision over top of the smoke, they will see that there's pretty much nothing here. Navi at the moment is aiming to do a very, very straightforward B play. Flash in for drop control. One of the right and left click. Damage dealt. Pushes them in the E-box. Oh, the readjustment from Flamey, hell yeah. Still gets that second kill. Actually, no, Edward takes it from, but he gets the assist on it. There are trades rolling out from Envious, though, with Happy and RPK have picked up kills for the CT side, and they're going to look for a few more. It's a good thing Flamey's ducked away right now, as otherwise RPK would have killed him. And look at this from RPK. It goes all the way out. Flamey saves the day, though. Make sure that that doesn't go any further, but Sixer keeps it alive here for Envious, putting this down to a 2v1. Flamey will have to clutch with only 5 HP in a 1v2, and currently does not have control over the bomb, either. That's sitting on the ground. The smoke's going to fade away. I was hoping he could maybe find a player in the open as the smoke faded, but not going to be the case. Ever, but both players from Envious still sitting safely tucked away behind coverage. And Flamey will not be given the opportunity to win this just yet as he peeks out. Though Sixer is waiting, and finally we'll see a round from Envious. The openings look promising, but it was a mad decent behold from Envious, and the good flashes to assist RPK in like getting around the site as opposed to letting those players cross into an angle where he had to kind of hold, and you never really want to be holding angles when teams are on full alert. Like, if they're in the site, 
then the Peeker's advantage is going to be in full effect. And I think most of the Peeker's advantage comes being comes with being more prepared to take the fight than it has to do with anything like, uh, you know, being online or anything like that. So it's still in effect in a, in a land environment like this. Um, and, uh, yeah, and, and they even had, like, the second one to help him get even farther, which is really cool. Opportunity to get a couple of kills. If he had seen the, fir the first time that there was someone at long V-plat, probably would have won the round right there. Envy, in spite of that, were able to close it out, though, so... Good stuff. Now we move into another round where it's a pretty quiet default. Simple lining up a spam through the door. And NV playing playing quite passively. The tree boost. We haven't seen the mollies on tree, and tree boost is, is really nice because you can take a fight from here, fall back to pizza, which is safe from everything except drop. And if you have a drop player, then you can rely on that. And RPK is going to be first at the bat here to defend drop as well. They don't molly down below, so he's safe to sit here. Gets the first kill. Flamey takes down XMS as he tries to peek in with an RPK. He's having problems getting that second headshot. So Flamey is indeed going to push forward, taking him out of the equation and giving Navi a plus one advantage. Oh, oh and they even suspected Happy to be up there too. He gets massive damage on the Flamey, just not enough to get the kill. So Scream and Six are all that's left at the moment. Flamey even just pushing right down over to the statue here, but Scream is going to go for it. He wasn't... Oh, okay. Just snaps onto Flamey there, takes him down. And now going to try to continue this fight. A quick headshot on Edward, too. The headshots indeed are here. And now he just needs two more to clutch it out. However... Oh, hold on. Did they... They probably heard him going down then. As he's going to look to find him. But in the meantime, nicely played from Navi as they use that distraction to have Simple push out from the site. Find him in the open and take him down. Sixer misses the opportunity to trade on the Zeus there. Wasn't scoped in on time. And now as the plant goes down, Sixer is going to be, well, not so quiet about things here. Just gives away where he's playing from with that noise. And now he's going to have to hope he gets a peek one by one from somebody here on Navi. As he lurks around it, though, Navi are playing this so smart positionally speaking. Just not giving Sixer any room to work with there. And eventually Simple closes out. That was He got timing strike a couple times there. Pretty, pretty clean hits from from Scream. What can you do though about a three kill entry like this? Both players that drop and straight down to like not being able to trade out that kill. I mean, he didn't take any damage to and uh, that's why drop is so difficult to defend from within it. It, it. Sometimes retaking it is a better idea, but you can't always do that. So it's understandable that they tried to stand and fight. Now we're into what could potentially be the last round of the game and the series as Envy don't have much money and only have eight rounds. Yeah, Deagle, three CZ, so it's a very poor buy for Envious. They do have the one M4 in Scream's hands, and it's a good thing it goes into his hands. XMS as well had a great position, just a little bit lower than he should have been aiming there, as he only tags only tags Simple for about 30 damage overall. The rest of Navi still stacked up, ready to push into these halls and take some control. C's already claiming the second kill. Envy is are fully rotating over, and they even have Sixer trying to go for a flank. But Zeus should be watching out for that. Scream just gets demolished, as is Happy. They find Sixer. He'll finally get a kill for Envious, but it's obviously a little bit irrelevant here now, as Navi are going to go and hunt him down. Look, they were all just actually going to abandon the plant and look for him, but he's allowed to go back, and that buys him a little bit more time. But ultimately, it won't mean much. Seas will take him down, and with that, ladies and gentlemen, Navi take control of the second map, winning it 16 to 8. And off of that, they'll take this series 2 to nothing. Means we're gonna say bye bye to Envious a little bit early in this tournament, but Navi get to move on, and now they'll take on C9 for one of the four spots available at the main event in the arena. Should be a pretty cool match, I think. Uh, Navi C9 is is, uh, is quite interesting. We get to see that one more time. So solid performance from from Navi overall. Like kept control of it, um, and uh, in the second half just showed why they were the better team. All right, guys. So let's send it back over to our analysis desk to break down the rest of the series. A breakdown, and well, I don't think uh, there's much much else being broken down other than Envious going home, right? So rough one, rough break for them, and unfortunately for them, they are out of the tournament. Now, looking ahead, let's take a look at this Navi. Looking strong, they do have another matchup to look forward to, but let's step back and take a look at Cobble. What do we know? Uh, it was kind of like Envious did exactly what you told us they shouldn't do, Jordan. Yeah. It was kind of disheartening to see because I know that... Uh, Envious has that other ability to play that other way, right? We've seen it multiple times, and it's like they just were just not the right animal today. Yeah, just looking at it before we even get into the breaking down the rounds, um, starting T side there for Envy, right? I said they needed to have a big T side, double digit rounds. They start out getting the pistol like they have been doing so far this tournament. Great. They have the 3 0 lead, but then what do they do? 4 1 right. everywhere. So we're going to get into that in a second, but just from a high level, looking at outside perspective, 
you have that fifth round lead, your goal now is to get double digits because that's the only chance you have. You can't really, the aggressiveness I said that Envy should do versus Navi on like train, you can't do that anymore on CT side mm -hmm. Pobble because they T's can just hold back and wait it out. So you need that double digit round to be able to have a chance because Navi's going double digits when they hit T side if they have the chance. So um, we want to look at the first gun round. I think, I think we want to queue up its fourth round to show you guys, you know, what actually happens when 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 Envy kind of rushes versus a team like Navi. So this first round you see they come to Plat. And now I don't necessarily disagree with this play because they're up 3-0. If they, if they keep bring it down to like a 1v1, they have a chance of breaking Navi's money next round. But the problem with this is they know, even if Navi doesn't have an op, Envy knows that they're, they don't have a lot of utility. Mm -hmm. Me and Marker are sitting there talking and we're shaking our heads like, you know, this isn't a terrible play. It's mm -hmm. not the end of the world. B hits are pretty It's just the timing. Hits. It's the timing. And with their nades, what would you do? You know, yeah. just low nades. You just you could wait out mm -hmm. the round or bait it, right? Like and, and, and or bait, bait it. it. Yeah. You, can, you can always bait it, almost certainly, no matter what the situation is, even if it is making a sandwich. Well, that's why it. that was like the reaction of what I said, yeah, right? Because if all else fails, you just bait it. Well, what uh, wasn't much as bait as it was brute force. Let's take a look now at round seven here. Envious working their way into, I believe it is the A site with the little to no map control. Yeah, so it's basically the same thing, but on the opposite side of the map, right? Like at the end of the day, you know, 4-1 towards A, do it pretty early. You know, don't really, nothing really going on over at B. You can see on radar, the guy has full plat control. He's staring yeah. down the barrel flat. They leave one guy just listening for drop. He doesn't even need they to already, look at it. They already have two guys close to him. Yeah, like they're just, they're done, right? And we saw this same setup. I think it was uh, when actually Envious had their best opportunity to get back in the map later on when you saw like a four MP9 buy by Navi. Do you remember that round? And ended up getting no kills because they just did this 4 1 telegraph slow play. And you know, the thing to Envy's credit, they do still create right now a four versus four on T sub, which isn't the end of the world. But now they're relying on the Lurk. I think RPK went down towards the B side. I'm not sure if that was correct. But now they could have made one back B, but they give up plat control because Happy's going alone. So if you maintain plat control at B in that kind of round, then sure, you could do the 4 1 style. But it's it's a tall task for one guy to do on the, that side of the map. And I, th and I think that smoke they threw on the Molotov, it was weird because it actually extinguished like super far out in front, right? So they're trying to make a, a play on that one guy, yeah. right? Because that guy threw the Molly A hall, so they're thinking, all right. So all it right. just kind of turns into an unnecessary kind of struggle, which yeah. there is a rhyme and reason behind what Envy does. But I think versus a team like Navi, you got to take the intrinsic advantages of the map. you got to look at Cobble, just like Cash. The CTs need utility to survive. Hold off sometimes. Give yourself a chance to uh, grind out the round. To let them use that and to mm -hmm. your favor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing not to your favor would be XMS popping off and getting a 4K. <laughs> so let's load up that ridiculous. round right now. And this is pretty wild stuff. Let's get excited, boys. He comes out with the dig. He Banger. He Banger. <laughs> and then I think he's just like, all right, I, I'm so good he's right now. Missiles. I'm just going to push through the door. Let's the go. You've come this far, right? He's Why hunting. stop? He's hunting. Ooh. There, there it go. is. A quick, uh, it's a pretty quick 4K by XMS. And that's really the only way ha Envy is going to win some of those fast rounds where they force the issue. You have to have one player pop off, and that's really the only round on T side, I think, an individual play like that worked out. One of the fast plays. Well, or Envious. For Envious. <laughs> uh, and then as we go on further to the second pistol, we see Simple have a similar uh So experience. this was this was uh, Navi's chance Two at making up for the fact that they didn't necessarily get as many gun rounds as they should have first half. And they say, oh, look it. Envious has got a nice solid second half. This is actually going to be... Uh, a nice a nice half for them coming up. Mm -hmm. Simple comes through, kills two and drop. Three people left. Simple says, not today, baby. I'm from Ukraine. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what that has to do with him getting these three kills, but they're nice. And the kids are are you mad? Because I'm not. I'm not mad. <laughs> so now, that, when Envy's we, mad. Yeah, en Envy's certainly mad. Now, looking at it, they're going home. Uh, but, you know, one question we kind of have to ask here is what should they do in terms of sustains, right? So what did they do right here? Even though they're out, what did Envious do right here at the tournament in New York? They're really good at trading on T side. I'd say that's probably their strength is, is staying close in a pack. Uh, that's probably the one thing I can comment on. Their CT sides actually look – it was weird because I always associate Envious with strong T side. But it was the opposite. So. Yeah, I think CT sides looks pretty good for Envy, like you said. I think RPK is kind of an X factor in this tournament. I think when he pops off, he they do well. He didn't play as well as he could this tournament. I'm sure he admit the same. It's an outsider perspective. Everyone has a role on the team. You don't always get the frags. It's not about that, though. He just didn't seem as on point. And I think one takeaway for Envy would be maybe, from an outside perspective, incorporate some slower play under that T side and not necessarily slower play that has an agenda, but kind of feel out the round a bit more. Well, we do know SK is already through. 
The hard part's done for them. Let's take a look at these brackets, though, and see what these matchups look like now that we have eliminated our first team of the group. It's going to be Envious leaving SK to advance all the way through, and then the matchup in Cloud9 and Navi. Yeah, this is almost like a semi-grudge match. Navi's played Cloud9 a few times in some like grinder BO3s in the last few months, so they're definitely not going to be strangers to each other. However, I think that these lineups have not faced each other in a BO3 yet, right? Like, I think that was older lineups. Yeah. So th this actually set of 10 players has not played a BO3 against each other. Uh, I'm wondering if we're gonna get a weird veto again, right? So yeah, it's I kind of like- just thinking about that. Yeah, I wonder what the, I'm actually wondering who's gonna be the one to ban Nuke, right? Cause it's kind of like a game of chicken. Right, well looking at it, I mean, Jordan, uh, with, with your experience playing against Navi, I mean, reflecting back to Cologne uh, in this lineup, what would you say that C9 needs to bring to the table in order to just have a, a much easier task at hand? Well, uh, you know, I don't know if they need my help. You saw what they did on Inferno, right? Um, I think the key is to keep having that game plan where Cloud9 seems to yeah. falter lately. Keep your shirt on, whatever you do. Well, you know, they haven't <laughs> won anything yet. BO3 goes down right now, and C9's on top. You might you might need to watch out in the studio here. It's getting a little this is rowdy. a button-up. This will come off quick, baby. <laughs> um, you know, T C9 needs to make sure they have a good offensive game plan. You see versus... Um, Navi on Inferno, they looked pretty structured. Only on the anti-ecos, they looked a little shaky. But generally, the problem lately, like on Train versus SK, a little bit of a one-dimensional game plan here. If They're probably going to have to play Train, right? Yeah, it's probably going to Train. You know, we'll talk about those in a second. That, all that aside, they need to make sure their T side is decisive, whether it's slow or fast. They, they could pull off either because the amount of skill they have. Stay tight on those anti-eco rounds, and, and, and I think the, the boys from the, in blue got a chance. And I, I think, uh, well, the boys in blue definitely don't have a chance anymore, but the boys in baby blue certainly Powder have. blue. Now, hold on, hold on. Before we semantics, get to the Trace semantics. Nice, nice and easy, nice and easy. Let's take a look at Group B. We're going to see Phase top VP there, 16-5. Uh, even a Strawless Liquid game going the distance in 16-13. And I mean, Phase isn't messing around today. Eleven rounds lost in two maps. Yeah, I mean, as it stands, uh, you know, do we see anything here that, that kind of stands out to you guys? Uh, as a kind of a VP fan, so, you know, since I played 1.6, I kind of like the older guys. I'm very sad to see this. You know, like I just keep waiting for that spark to come back, baby. I want to see it. Do we know? What, I didn't know what first map was. Do we know over here? For, for our matchup, we for, have we for no for uh, VP and Liquid Cash. Oh, for first that no, was a but, BO1, right? But you can head over to the A stream and check you that can out. Do it, perhaps, guys. Perhaps if better you, looking uh, stream over here. Yo, by far. I but think. there's some people trying on the other. Yeah, one. if you want some like just some examples on how to put yourself together. Look no further, right okay. here. Look to my right. This Aesthetics uh, on this desk are by far much beyond that <laughs> of the A stream, but as to be expected, Six I suppose. Six pack in the fridge. Yeah. Uh, well, listen, guys, we're we're gonna go to a, qu a quick break here in a second. We're gonna be determining who that second team is that's gonna make it out of the group. Either Cloud Nine or Navi to square off in a best of three. We'll be right back. Let's go, baby. and stream without compromise on Intel Core i7. I know a bunch of people who would love that. 
The internet loves what you're doing. So build a better website in under an hour with Ghost Central from GoDaddy. Type in your idea, select from designs tailored just for you, and publish your site with just a few clicks, even from your mobile phone. The internet is waiting. Start for free today at GoDaddy.